After hundreds of training fights, my trusty old Viking shield, which I made six years ago, is in need of repair again. I had previously put on a new edge strip of hide and additional shield clamps, but apparently the material was of a much lesser quality, very flimsy, and it wore out much faster than the original edge strip. You can see that the wood is exposed in places, and if I do not cover it up again, the shield edge will quickly deteriorate. However, removing all the edge clamps and adding a new edge strip of height is not a great prospect, even though it would provide me with the opportunity to finally add an edge strip of proper dimension, because the few surviving examples show that original edge strips were a lot narrower than the ones that I made. So the width of the edge strips I cut previously is too big, it's much too wide. Fortunately, there is another option. Thanks to the excellent research of Tomasz Vlasaty, I became aware of a shield from a Viking burial in Norway, which sports a unique form of edge reinforcement. The edge is covered by small strips of copper sheet, which are fixed to the board by means of shield clamps, iron shield clamps, that is. So along the shield edge you can alternatingly see shield clamps and little strips of copper sheet. I figured that if I went for this option I could possibly push one end of a copper edge fitting under an existing shield clamp and then fix the other end with a new clamp. And fortunately this did work indeed. So for the new edge fittings and additional clamps I initially cut copper and brass sheet to size. Subsequently some of the pieces had to be hammered flat again and the sharp edges had to be smoothened by sanding. Naturally I made the new shield clamps exactly the same size as the previous ones and uh, I also had to add the same kind of design, this dotted decoration around the holes for the rivets. I provide an extensive step-by-step -step tutorial on how exactly I make my shield clamps. You can find a link to this public post in the video description. In order to coat the pieces I did not dip them into molten tin. Instead I cheated a little and used a modern tin coating agent, a soldering paste. You need a brush to apply the paste to the clamps and a heat gun to start the actual tinning process. Make sure that you only do it in a well-ventilated room and be aware that you may have to repeat the process a couple of times to achieve the desired result. I also tin coated the heads of the nails which I will use to fix the clamps to the shield board, which I can start doing as soon as I have fitted the copper strips to the edge. Now this turned out to be more difficult in places than I had hoped for, but eventually it worked out. For final montage I place a clamp on the edge, I drill the two holes for the nails.
and I push them through. And finally, I clip each nail before riveting it. And the rest is effort. So here's the final result. I'm quite happy with it and content. And I'm looking forward to finding out how it holds up in fencing training. I was open here, I don't know if you actually... No, I just made it really high. Yeah, okay, so it was good. Because it felt like you had the opening. Thank you.